obviously this is not financial advice. This is only my opinions. I got tired of seeing people come into this crypto space and we get a bad name. There's a lot of good people in this crypto space. And unfortunately, we get a bad name because of the actions of a few, um, let's call them scammers. Actually, they are scammers. Now, shout out to CoffeeZilla. But I personally am not a fan of the CoffeeZilla format, which is every week I can come here and tell you that there's a bad guy out here doing this and that. And, you know, play the moral high ground. But in reality, even though I might chase a bad guy, if that's what you want to call it, coffee, but what are you doing in terms of prevention? <clears throat> now, as an OG Bitcoiner, this is Bitcoin tatted on my face, yes. I was one of the few who owned some before I was even 18 years old. And I went in for different reasons than most. Ever since pandemic, I've noticed a lot of y'all came into the space with the sole purpose of making money. But I got tired of seeing y'all get scammed and taken advantage of and even rug pulled. But instead of playing cat or mouse, I'd like to take a different approach on this. My approach is I want to show you how to not be in those positions in the first place. At first, you new guys, newbies, new, I used to call you pandemic investors. I reacted with emotion because it was a lot of hostility from people who are new in the space, who just came in with the intention of making money, that's it. They don't care about the fact that Satoshi sacrificed his life, you know, like Jesus did, right? And why he did what he did. They don't care any anything about that. They just want to make money. Oftentimes, those are who get scammed. Let me, let, let's get something understood. I'll make this quick. The idea that you can get rich overnight, it's not impossible. But if you're chasing overnight, or not say overnight, if you're chasing fast money, <clears throat> Unless you are breaking the law, right? Unless you're doing something immoral. <laughs> Unless you are the guy who's coming. Get the fast money idea out your head. Because as long as you're chasing shortcuts and get rich quick, you will be the perfect victim. I said it's not impossible because it, it could happen. I've seen it happen. But don't go in with the expectation of fast money. The crypto space is not sketchy. You come in trying to make quick money and you meet the sketchy people. I got tired because I have to answer questions all the time, given the fact that, you know, I'm an OG Bitcoiner. And when people are not envious, when they're not in hater mode, they usually come and ask for advice, a lot of good people. But I'm answering the same question over and over. No, you don't need anyone to invest for you. 
as a matter of fact, this is point number two. If I'm missing anything, I'm, I'll make a second video. But stop going. When you invest in anything, crypto or not, <clears throat> I need you to understand what and why you invest. If the reason that you invest is people, for example, Kanye said, Elon said, no, 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 no. Okay. I asked the dude who invested in those. I hate those. Hmm? Me, AK, I hate those with a passion. With a passion, I hate those and anything to do with it. I think it's the stupidest thing ever made. No disrespect to the creators. Satoshi built this thing to not rely on humans. You guys that come in, you guys, you just want to make money. And you, you got, you don't trust yourself enough to, maybe you don't, you think you're not smart enough to sit there and understand why Satoshi did what he did. The, the, the ideology behind it, you know. No bank, no government, no human. Blockchain, public, I can read it, you read it. So, men lie. Women lie. The blockchain never lies. BitConnect was one of the biggest scams. If I'm not mistaken, the people behind it are still wanted fugitives. When you ask people why they invested, they, they listen to people. Never listen to people. I need you to understand, I invest, or I, let's say, for example, own Bitcoin, because I believe in what? The idea. I wasn't even trying to invest or be an investor or even be in those circles. I don't like it. But I have to say something because I'm seeing the newbies come and they get taken advantage of. I don't want to be the old OG who's just hating on a new guy. I'm going to help you. I didn't have that help, by the way, so... I hope my efforts are appreciated. Hit that like button. Smash that subscribe button. And share it to a guy who might need it. Because, yo, why did you buy this? Uh, because I believe in a person. No. The idea should make sense to you. Are you convinced of the idea? Eh, not really, but the guy behind it, no. Because once you open the door to a guy you trust or a guy you like, <laughs> you're the best victim ever. Look at all these celebrities that people love and respect. Some of them are the good guy, guys, clean image. They'll come to you and promote a pump and dump or a fake currency that rug pulls you in a week or two. That's what happens when you listen to people. I don't care what, what the hype is because hype goes down. This is not just for Bitcoin or crypto. This is for anything in life, <laughs> even religion. The idea must make sense. 
Stop listening to what Elon said because humans, unfortunately, there's good people. But for the most part, I did a whole video about Elon. His fanboys are so much. Like the amount of it is so much. These new guys, they come in. Oh, I don't know anything, but Elon, no. Elon pumped and dumped. If Elon did the same thing he did with stocks, he'd be in jail. The only reason Elon got away with it is because cryptocurrency is not considered a security by the SEC. So they don't regulate it. <laughs> it's like you it's like he did it with monopoly money. If he did it with stocks, which is regulated by the SEC, he would be in jail. Because pump and dump is a federal crime. It's not the literal type of fraud either. The Wolf of Wall Street, <clears throat> if you heard about it or watched the movie, what was, what was he in jail for? F the movie. I'll tell you. He was in jail. His whole Wolf of Wall Street. He got that title because he was pumping and dumping. Same thing Elon did to you using Doge. He did it with stocks. If Doge and Bitcoin was regulated by the SEC, Elon would be in there with R. Kelly and him. It'd be free Elon. I don't blame Elon because there's always going to be scammers. There's always going to be scammers. Coffeezilla is always going to be making a video about someone or something. Sure, he does a good job, but I get tired of seeing people play the moral high ground. Meanwhile, <laughs> y'all gonna keep getting scammed. So, if I forget something I'll make in the next video, not financial advice. This is what I do. Stop buying worthless currencies. There will be a pop-up coin every week. Make sure you're not susceptible to what people say or where the hype is after hype. And stop chasing shortcuts and overnight success. You chase that, you're going to get scammed. Chase a long term. Do I recommend Bitcoin? Yes. It's not advice, but yes, I would if I was you. I wouldn't do it and wait a week and, oh my God, sell. What are you talking about? And don't invest your last. Like, if you can't afford to lose it, don't invest it. You're better off <laughs> hitting the trap, hypothetically, in GTA. Hit the like button, smash the subscribe button. And use this. Don't let Elon think for you. Or anyone else. Or Kim K. <laughs> I can't believe some of y'all got child advice of investing from Kim K.